Now, just a, a little look at uh, Ryan Harrison. What's your view and what's your thoughts on Ryan? I, I know a little bit about him as a developing junior. What's your thoughts on him? Well, he's coming along nicely. Uh, certainly, we're, we're desperate. We're getting a bit desperate. We got a, some really good players uh, with Isner's coming along great. Um, a great example of a college guy that's sort of learned from that and is peaking later, which I think is a good lesson for a lot of kids. Uh, Sam Query is the top 20. Marty's fish had a good year. So we've got four guys in the, the top 20, and Andy's been around the top 10 for quite a long time. So it's not as bleak as people put it, but of course we're spoiled. We wanted the guys that win majors, and so we're looking at anyone, and Ryan's certainly the best bet right now, but you got to develop your own style, and I think do something different, and bring something a little bit different to the table that the players, other players, pick up on, and they, you get respect that way. I mean, it's clear that he's got a lot of ability, he's got a live arm, great, beautiful service motion, got a lot of good things, but he's got to sort of develop his own thing. The other really good thing is he took a lot of notes from you the other night in the doubles, and he certainly gave us a lot of uh, sort of insight into that sort of stuff as he plays with you, and, and he enjoyed it Im immensely. Well, hopefully, but uh, he, um, it's nice to be with someone that's young that, I, you know, I've got a lot of my own kids. I, I, I think they listen deep down, but it seems like they don't quite often. So it's nice when you get someone on the court that's really picks up on what you're saying, but also can execute it. And they, the good guys learn quick, you know, within a few minutes, they seem to sort of get it. And, and then they'll go out in the practice court the next day, and then they'll start to, to try to execute some of the things you tell them. And because he's got to keep, the way to win in tennis is you got to, you, you've got to be calm and do things that put your opponent sort of in an uncomfortable position. You want them to be on edge, not sure what you're going to do not be predictable. So that's what he's got to learn. John, look, thanks for your time tonight. Thanks for coming down to Adelaide again this year, and we certainly look forward to seeing you in the future. I hope I can make it one more time. Thank you.